Welcome to the official iNavX support video channel uh, by Jim Sales. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to set up and use the anchor alarm in iNavX. You should begin setting up your anchor alarm after you have securely anchored your boat. You can find the anchor alarm settings by tapping on the more item in the toolbar and then by tapping on anchor alarm on the more page. Tap on anchor to set the approximate location of the anchor relative to your position. The scope button can be used to get a recommended amount of anchor road to deploy. iNavX will give you an approximate bearing to your anchor as long as the top of the iPad is pointed towards where your anchor has been set. Select the approximate distance to your anchor, then tap Select. Make sure that the anchor alarm perimeter distance is greater than the distance to the anchor, otherwise the alarm will trigger immediately after enabling. When you return to the chart view, you will see that there is an X representing where the anchor has been set and a circle representing the allowable distance for drift. Your position icon should be within the circle, not outside of it. In this video, I am only simulating an anchoring situation. As you can see, I'm actually at my dock. This video is not intended to teach you how to anchor your boat, but merely how to set up the anchor alarm in iNavX. In order for the anchor alarm to work, iNavX must be active and have a good position fix as indicated by HPE in the instrument view. If the boat drifts too far, the alarm will sound. be turned off by tapping the cancel item or toggling the alarm to the off position. Hey, if you found this helpful, why don't you click on the thumbs up to give me a like. And while you're at it, subscribe to your official iNavX support channel by Jim Sales.